is that good? I mean, it's better than 120. Okay, okay. So 225. Okay. All right. Now, I, here's the thing. I don't know if I can, I can't read any chat. Okay. Uh, it said it has the capability. Okay. But in the meantime, you might need to just like have it on your phone and just have the volume all the way down. Okay. Uh, and then you can see the chat there. All right. All right. We'll give it a try. Um, are, are, am I live yet with you? Watching. Yes, there it is. I got you now. Okay, I only got two. Oh, here. I got, I got to turn this down. Okay, there we go. Okay. There's two watching, though. Yeah, this is coming to me and my dad. There it is. There it is. Brian's back. There we go. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, dude. It, it, it's, is this buffering or is it, I'm just pixelating? guys all right bear with me guys there we go bear with me cool 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 all right Okay, this shows me here that I, uh, I'm on and I'm going. There we go. It is called Day Nine Two. Day Nine Part Two. Ah, uh, still no, nope, eh? I got Mr. Carey, and he's, he says he's not, not getting anything. There it is. Pixelating. Stan's here. Thank you, brother. Baron, Big D. Thank you, brother. All right. Wow. We're getting, it's getting late. Still some buffering. <laughs> I'm moving slow tonight. <laughs> we got nine. Okay, so this is this is running through. Uh, what was it called again? 
Caster. Cast. Alright. So, we're going to need a little time to build some of this chat up again. There we go, Todd. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. We lost a bunch of guys here. I'm still buffering some. Wow. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. It's working for Carrie now. Good. <laughs> it's not a slow motion movie. It's a stop motion movie. Thank you, Marcus. Is there a way to get it on Facebook? Yes, we could. How is the sound, though? Instead of the, the, the video, is the sound okay, or is it chopping, too? Is the sound choppy? See, we dropped down to 154 kbps. Drop down to the bit rate. The sound is buffering too, but better than the video. All right, thank you, Kevin. The sound is not too bad. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Well, if you bear with me tonight, um, I would like to start here. Wow. Nothing frustrates me more than bad video. Bad sound is bad, but bad video tears me up. And I don't know why I can't go back to Facebook. I mean, excuse me, YouTube, the old, the old student. I had there. All right, let us begin. Spirit, send down the beings. Comforters, the vast, O thou, the soul's delightful guest, the pilgrim's sweet relief. Rest art thou in our toil, most sweet, refreshment in the noonday heat, and solace in all our grief. Fill with thy light the inmost heart of those who hope in thee. Without thy Godhead, nothing can have any price or worth in man. Nothing can harmless be. Lord, wash our sinful stains away. Refresh from heaven our barren clay. 
our wounds and bruises heal. To thy sweet yoke, our stiff necks, stiff necks bow, warm thy, with thy fire thy, our hearts of snow, our wandering feet recall. Grant to thy faithful, dearest Lord, the, whose only hope is thy sure word, the stemful gifts of grace. Grant us in life thy grace that we in peace may die and ever be, in joy before thy face. Amen. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Todd, just, guys, you could just turn away from the video, because that would drive me crazy. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Stan. All right. Gentlemen, I'll try to be brief tonight. But again, Father Calloway gives us some remarkable, remarkable insight. And it all goes back to the blood. Life is in the blood. And so if you, like Abraham, had no offspring, you were good as dead. Yet the strangers come by and say, you're going to not only live, but your offspring are going to be as numerous. Life is the blood. So again, we have to put ourselves in a Middle Eastern mindset that your name, your blood, is how you live forever. We live through our descendants. Nothing worse, nothing worse than no offspring. Nothing worse than not living forever. And so the life is in the blood. The life is in the blood line. Joseph has the blood of David, the blood of Solomon, and all of the kings of Judah. That blood flows through his veins. Remember that. Joseph has royal blood. And because of this loyal blood, Joseph fulfills the prophecies of old. If you were of the royal line of David, it was your duty to bear children. It was your duty to marry and bear children. Because the prophecies foretold that the from the blood, from the loin of David, the Messiah would come. And so Joseph, with royal blood, is king. He is the king of kings, and he is the Lord of lords of the king of kings and the Lord of lords. <laughs> He's king of the king of kings. He's the Lord of the Lord. Having Christ the Messiah in his men. St. Joseph is a noble Lord. And again, it sounds kind of strange calling him Lord, but just remember, we'll call him a lowercase L, a lowercase L, Lord. Not a not an uppercase. So again, we 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 call uh, we see in the old in old Middle Ages they would say, "My." Lord, I want to understand this. 
And so Joseph is more than a brother. He is our noble spiritual father. He is our loving spiritual father and lowercase Lord. And so I want to go more deeply. That's on page 30. Let's Page 139. Joseph is of the noble offspring of David. The renowned offspring of David. So he has the blood, he has the, the progeny of a patriarchal, regal, and princely stock. Now, again, I, I have to say, from an American point of view, and our founders and those who came over after us, gen generally did not want to, they wanted to do away with all that regality, do away with royalty, do away with noble bloodline. They wanted to do away with that. They shed themselves. They, they said, we will not have a king. We the people. We the people. So for Americans, this is, or should I say, more foreign than maybe the Europeans or anybody else in the world. I'm trying to understand or wrap our brains around a bloodline, a name, uh, nobility. See, that's all kind of foreign to Americans. But St. Joseph has the blood of kings. Seventeen times Jesus is called the son of David. And so for the Middle Eastern mind, for the Israeli mind, for the sons of Israel, to be a son of David has power. It has as the son of David. And again, that's how Jesus attains his bloodline. But I love this. Then the angel came to Jesus. salvation history. The angel had to come to remind St. Joseph who know what he had been given by God in the, in the coming of the Messiah, lest he walk away from divine mystery or the vocational call of God. The angel wanted to remind him who he was and what he was called to do. Two things. St. Peter Casologus, again, this golden preacher, he speaks to Joseph, and I'm just going to point out eight different attributes that he looks at Joseph. He looks at his virtue, his divine descent, reward from heaven a secret of the judge he is the victory of him who knows the case he is the of life So dissecting that little paragraph of St. John Christendom, we see that Joseph carries these attributes that elevate 
lift, restore. But Joseph knew he was in, a, in the presence of a great mystery. So the angel came to remind him of his royal lineage, a lineage for the Savior, to be considered a descendant of David. I love this last paragraph. King David, St. Joseph's royal ancestor, stepped away from the Ark of the Covenant for three months. He sent the Ark away. That's found in 2 Samuel. He sent the ark away because he found himself unworthy. Joseph, in a similar fashion, wanted to send the ark away. But not because of any shame. Because, because he did not want According to Calloway, Joseph felt unworthy of the presence and the power of Mary. Oh, Marcus, you want to get me a Mac? That is a whole nother learning curve. A whole nother learning curve to get a Macintosh. Oh, my. <laughs> AJ, I think we're limited by the streaming that we have here. I'm down to 174 bit rate. to be able to do this our, together. But I can only understand, I, 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 I totally understand the frustration with this technology. And what even frustrates me more is how well it worked in the beginning of last week. How terrible today. I went from 100, uh, 200, what did we start with? This 300, it dropped down to 200 and something, 175, and right now it's at 135. So, anyway, gentlemen, I'm going to have to bid you a, a good night. Thank you for your <laughs> The Lord be with you.